In this video, I'm going to show you guys five unique text effects to use in your videos and take them to the next level. Now, these effects are not entirely about the text themselves, but also how you put them in certain situations to make the text look one with the entire scene. So let's not waste any more time and get started. So number one is putting text behind objects and that too in just a few minutes. With this effect, you can get really creative and make some amazing videos with very little amount of efforts, especially in DaVinci Resolve. Now, in order to put some text behind subjects, we have to mask the subjects first. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep on how to mask a subject or a person as I already made a video on how you can easily do that in a few minutes in Resolve. So you can check that video out after this one. For this example though, I'm going to use the magic mask in the color grading window for masking the subject real quick. Drawing over the subject and avoiding the background at the same time, it should detect the subject relatively easily. In case if it doesn't work well for you, then you can always try switching to the person mode. Now once the masking is done, we can now track it and once that is done as well, we'll have to create an alpha output by right clicking on the nodes panel and connect the alpha of the node to the alpha output after which we can go back to the edit tab where we can now add any text behind our subject. You can also stack the same video under the mask clip and place the text between them to give it a more 3D and realistic look. Number two, text and volumetrics. Now this effect is really cool, especially when you use it in music videos or trailers and quite honestly is really easy to create in DaVinci Resolve. All you need to do is search for the text plus effect on the effects menu and drag it onto the timeline and add a text through the dialog box. Then search for the light rays effect on the effects menu and drag it onto your text. You can increase or decrease the length, softness and brightness depending on your taste. But in this case, I'm going to turn the softness all the way down and increase the length enough that the rays go out of the frame completely. Now we can add some position keyframes to animate the light rays, but we can also spice it up a little bit by masking a clip again and putting the text behind our subject which will block the rays as it moves, creating a nice cinematic look. Alternatively, you can also put a video behind the text along with the rays effect, which also gives it a very distinctive look. Number three, fancy sliding down text. Now I know sliding down text are nothing new and everybody probably uses it, but when you combine it with some other effects, it can immediately take your production quality to the next level. But in order to be able to use this effect, that is a condition that needs to be fulfilled. Just like this video, the backgrounds should be plain. That is, there are no objects cutting through the side of the videos so that we can stretch out the video from a particular side or from all the sides indefinitely. In my case, the top side is empty, so we'll head over to the Fusion page and add a transform node after the media node. On the inspector panel, you'll be able to find advanced options and from there, we need to change the edge behavior to replicate after which we can move our clip around and the edges will stretch indefinitely. Now we can animate the movement by adding keyframes to the Y position, after which we can ease the motion in spline. The next step is to add the merge node and then add a text node to the merge node and basically replicate the movement of our clip so that the text slides down along with the clip. Additionally, you can also add a gradient behind the text by adding a background before the text node and masking it with a rectangular mask tool. We can soften the mask edges to give it a gradient look and again replicate the same motion so that everything slides down together. And there you have it, a really simple but very professional way of adding titles in your videos. Number four, surface tracker text. If you shot a film or a video, there might be instances where you would want to embed text on somebody's clothing or maybe on a wall. In that case, this effect is perfect. So in order to use this, we'll have to go to the Fusion tab and then press Ctrl plus Space to bring in the effects menu and search for the surface tracker effect and add it. It will automatically add the surface tracker node after the media node. Now in the surface tracker controls, we'll have to click on the plus bound button and add a few reference points to create a rectangular shape around the area we want to track. Then we can move on to the mesh tab and select the point locations as uniform grids. You can change the horizontal and vertical spacing to your liking. Then we can go to the track panel and track the whole thing. Now this mesh can act weird sometimes, so it's better you track it frame by frame. All right, once the tracking is done, all we need to do is merge a text node to our surface tracker node and position it accordingly. And that's all there is to it. Number five, narrative text and cinematic titles. Now these are really common, I know that, but these are also very much overlooked and these are really easy to create in DaVinci Resolve within just a few minutes. Okay, so creating the narrative text is really quite simple. All you need to do is use the text plus effect and then keyframe the right on animation and that's all about it. 
Now let's jump into the cinematic title. To create this, we'll have to add the text plus effect to the timeline and right click on the text dialog box and select follow up. Then we'll go to the fusion window and go to the modifier tab. Here we can set the order to random but one by one. You can also change it to other options as well. It's up to you. Then we'll change the delay to about 1.5 or 2 seconds. Now we'll jump over to the shading tab and then keyframe the softness X and Y. And then we can go back to the tools window and keyframe the tracking and line spacing. You can also ease up the animations in this spline window if you find it too jarring. And there we go, a really simple but cinematic title. Now apart from all these effects which you have to create manually, there are some amazing text animations which are already included with DaVinci Resolve. And these are not just some boring text effects. They look very professional and sophisticated. So if you're working on a project and you're running out of time, then you should definitely check these out. So I hope you found this video helpful in some way. If you have any kind of suggestions, do leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.